What's going on guys? I just got a PC, well, a laptop PC with enough power to game on. When I was posting on Instagram, some people said that they did not know how to play Minesweeper. So we're gonna show you guys how to play Minesweeper in 2020. Sometimes you just wanna throw on a retro game, sweep some mines and have a good time. All right, we are on the computer. We finally have enough power to play Minesweeper. Sometimes you just wanna play a throwback game, you know? First thing you're gonna wanna do is open a browser, Microsoft Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, and then you're gonna go to minesweeper.info. I'm going to leave a link in the description directly to the download if you don't wanna have to navigate through here. So we're back in the 90s. We're gonna go over here on the left to downloads. We're gonna to go to Microsoft WinMine 10 because these are the ones that were official Microsoft Minesweeper games. So it has the most nostalgic feel. And Windows XP is the one that's the most easily compatible that you can download and use on Windows 10. So we're going to hit download right there. It's going to download this file right here. We're gonna drag that to the desktop. If you have a different browser, you might wanna click up here to the dots and go to your downloads folder and then you can drag it to the desktop. We're gonna rename it Minesweeper and Minesweeper just looks better. Now we have it on the desktop and we can play it whenever we want. So we're gonna double click on that and we're gonna open up, there we go. We just opened up a time machine, threw us back in time. Now we get to play Minesweeper. So if you've never played this game before, this tutorial is gonna be very helpful. You can click up here on game and it has a couple of different options, beginner, intermediate, the game board gets bigger, Expert, the game board gets even bigger, and you can make a custom board with height, width, and the number of mines that you wanna make. For this tutorial, we're going to do beginner and kind of go over the basics of the game. Up in the top left, that is how many mines are left on the board. The smiley face is a reset button, so if you, for some reason, click on a mine, and there we go, you can hit the reset button, and it resets the game, and then over here is a timer. As soon as you start clicking, the timer goes, and that's kind of a way to see like, hey, I wanna get better, I wanna get faster, so it's kind of like a metric for that. So let's restart this game. The object of the game is to open up all the squares that are not mines with left clicks, so when you right click on a square, you can set a flag, or you can set a question mark. A question mark meaning that you don't know if it's a mine or not, or flag saying, I know this is a mine. So now that we have a board nicely set up from our initial click, we clicked on a gray square and got some information about the board. We're trying to find the mines, we're sweeping them essentially. You see these numbers and that is very, very important in the game. So it's gonna be number one through eight and each number indicates how many mines that number is actually touching in its proximity. So the number one, you would look at the three squares touching it on the top, the three squares touching it on the side, three squares touching it on the bottom, three squares touching on this side. Anything adjacent touching it, whether it be a side or a corner, could be a mine. But since this one is only touching one square, we know for sure that that is a mine. So we're gonna right click and throw down a flag. Two would be two mines are touching it, three would be three mines are touching adjacent, and four would be four mines all the way up to eight. And if you clicked on an eight, you're very lucky because all of the squares around it are a mine. You got really close to losing the game. So you lose the game if you accidentally click on a mine. We're gonna work through right here. We started with the one corner because we know for sure that that is the only open square touching that one. So we know that that is a mine, we dropped a flag. Same thing over here, you're going to want to throw a flag right on the one corner right here as well. Over here, we don't really know yet. And then we can work a little bit farther up. So we're gonna go to this two. This two is touching this mine. It only has one open square. So we know that that is a mine. And this one is touching that mine. That one is touching that mine. So we know that is not a mine. And we're working over here. That three is satisfied. It's touching three mines. This three is touching two mines. One mine here, one mine here. So we know that that is a mine. This four is touching three mines. There's only one square left. This three is touching two mines. There's only one square left. We know that that is a mine. So we're going to place a flag. And as you can see, I'm placing flags. The mine count is going down. So there are four mines left in the game. So as soon as I get all those flags planted, click on all the squares, we will win the game. The mines will have been sweeped. So this two is already touching two mines. So we know that that is not a mine. This one is touching one mine. So we know this one right here is not a mine. This three is touching two. So it could be here or here, but we know that this one is already touching one. That's satisfied. So we know that that is not a mine. Therefore, this has to be a mine because this three is touching these two mines right there. Then we're gonna work into this corner right here. Three touching one, two, three. 
So we know that is not a mine. And then this three is touching one, two. So we know that this is indeed a mine. And one is touching this mine right here. This one is touching this mine. So we already know that that is not a mine. That is not a mine. That is not a mine. Therefore, this will also not be a mine because this one is already touching that mine. And now we're on a two. This two is already touching two mines. So we know that that is not a mine. That is a left click. And that one is already satisfied. That is a left click, not a mine. This two is touching one mine, only one square left. So that is a right click, 100% a mine. This one is already touching a mine. So we know that is not a mine. This two is not satisfied, but only touching one square. So we know that that is indeed a mine. One more square is left. We know for sure that is not a mine. So we can make a left click. At completing the entire game, we can type in our name and we have a high score. That is how to play Minesweeper in 2020 on a Windows PC. It is a fun game to play. It's kind of mindless. It's very, like, you get focused without any sounds. You could, Or you can listen to music. It's kind of meditative. But it's a satisfying game. I loved playing this game back in the 90s. So I figured I would share with everybody, let everyone know how to download and play Minesweeper. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up so other people can find it. And if you want to connect with me or just want to let me know how much you love Minesweeper, let me know about it in the comments. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.